Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Josh Rosen's Production Analytics Profile. Uh, so we've gotten to that point, ladies and gentlemen, where we're starting to get into some more concrete data and other sort of information. Um, the combine, of course, is, is coming up rapidly. Uh, you know, in March, uh, that that all that stuff is going to happen. We're going to have a lot more information about a lot of different players. But for the most part, quarterbacks' production really trumps any other characteristic when it comes to quarterback data. Whether you're tall, athletic, whatever. All that stuff is just extra icing on the cake. Many times you're going to hit on quarterbacks more often by looking at the production data than you are by looking at how tall they are or how athletic they are. And before we get into Josh Rosen's data, if you're new to the channel, you're new to the stuff that I talk about when it comes to analytics, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with the high school production score or you're not familiar with the FBS stat score, all that data will be in the description to give you just a brief sort of synopsis of the methodology that I use to get these numbers. Um, now, when you look at Josh Rosen's data, uh, so this is essentially a quick synopsis of his top performances at the high school level and at the college level. And so far, he, he's performed pretty well. Uh, had a 90.09 out of 100 high school production score. Um, based on my data since the 1950, well, t since the 2007 NFL draft class, excuse me, um, Josh Rosen pretty much hits every single threshold you're looking for when it comes to a long-term starting quarterback and a Pro Bowl quarterback uh, based on the data in that time span. So hits all the areas there. On top of that, has an 88.62 FBS production score, which hits the starting threshold and the Pro Bowl threshold as well. Um, so in many ways, Josh Rosen, just based on his best single season performances, looks a lot like a uh, multiple Pro Bowl quarterback at the NFL level, at least based on the initial data work that I have done. Um, now, when you get to his career data, so um, career FBS score essentially deals with, uh, what you do is, is you take all of the performances of a quarterback. Uh, so if a quarterback plays three years, for example, you would add up all those production scores and then divide by three, which would give you this score. And when it comes to Josh Rosen, his score was 77.74 out of 100, which is basically what his career FBS score was, which pretty much hits all the thresholds as well when it comes to all pro potential, pro bowl potential, and starter potential at the position. The only question mark realistically, though, is when it comes to the averages, because when you look at Josh Rosen, he doesn't quite hit the average score for an all pro potential quarterback um, since 1958, but he does hit a pro bowl career score, and he does hit a starter career score. Um, so in many ways, when it comes to Josh Rosen, he pretty much hits all the thresholds you're looking for. Again, he's, he, he hits the, the, the high school production score that he needs to hit. He hits the FBS stat score that he needs to hit in terms of a pro, uh, pro Bowl potential guy. Hits all the bottom end thresholds when it comes to uh, FBS stat scores. And the only real question mark is when it comes to all pro potential, doesn't quite hit the averages when it comes to that particular area of his game. But... It shouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. Uh, the, the bottom line when it comes to Josh Rosen, though, is based on data, based on his production data, he pretty much hits every single threshold you're looking for when it comes to a high-quality quarterback. The only question now is, does he have the character that you're looking for? Does he have the team fit that you're looking for? And, you know, there, there's other sort of things that go into quarterback evaluation as well on top of the film. But the bottom line is, again, Josh Rosen pretty much hits every single threshold you're looking for in terms of a Pro Bowl potential quarterback. It's just a matter of the other things, stuff like film and off the field sort of stuff like behavior stuff that is going to be the main thing I think NFL teams are really going to hone in on to kind of figure out if Josh Rosen is more of a Manziel-ish kind of guy or actually more of a serious, um, you know, solid guy. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.